Hello and welcome to the Christmas Corner with Cassie. My first story is A Christmas Legend. Once upon a time, in the Avide Tower of a little church, there were three wonderful bells. They rang only on Christmas Eve, when the people brought their gifts to the church to be given to the poor in remembrance of the Christ child. Nobody knew who rang them. Some said it was the wind, some said it was angels, and some said that they rang at God's own bidding. Be that as it may, every year the bells pealed forth their welcome to all who loved the Christ child. But there came a year when the Christmas bells were silent. The people waited and waited for the familiar peal, but not a sound broke the stillness. The next year it was the same, and so it was for many years. What has happened to our bells, our wonderful Christmas bells, the, sorrow, the sorrowing people asked. Shall we never hear their music again? At last, the father of the church asked all to bring their choicest gifts. For, he said, perhaps our gifts have not been worthy of the Christ child. And that is why the bells do not ring. So on Christmas Eve, when a myriad of stars shone down upon the snowy earth, the people made their way to church, bearing their most precious gifts. Among them were two ragged little boys, whose present was a silver ten piece. They had struggled for a whole year to save this, and how proud they were of it now, and how glad to give it to the Christ child. They smiled as they trudged along in the snow, saying little, but each thinking his own happy thoughts. Suddenly, they were stopped in their way by an old, old man, far poorer than they. In a voice that trembled from weariness and hunger, he asked, Little brothers, can you spare a penny for an poor old man who has nothing? The boys looked at the man and their hearts were filled with pity. But how could they help him? They had no penny, but only their silver piece. And if they gave him this, what if they gifted the Christ child? The problem puzzled them. But when they looked again at the poor man, shivering in his rags, they were so moved with pity for him that they gave him all their money. The old man was overcome with joy at the magnificence of the gift. May God bless you, little brothers, he said, and with a last long look of gratitude, he bade them farewell and shuffled away in the snow. The boys went on, and although now they had no gift for the Christ child, they knew in their hearts that God would understand. For wasn't the poor old man also his child? They reached the church at last, and as they stepped into its welcoming light, they heard the father inviting all to bring the gifts and lay them before the altar. And God grant, he added, that we may hear once more the music of our Christmas bells. The people brought the gifts and laid them before the altar. Princes gave their jeweled crowns and ladies gave their rings. The rich gave ornaments of priceless worth, and merchants gave their gold. But still the bells were silent. Last of all came the two little ragged boys, who, in loving kindness, had given, all, had given away all they had. They knelt down side by side before the altar, and held out their empty hands. Immediately the Christmas bells began to ring, louder and sweeter than ever before. Thine is the gift divine. Thine is a gift of vine, they seemed to sing, and sing again. Those who had given of their plenty knelt down in all humility, and with tears of joy in their eyes, gave thanks to God for the music of the Christmas bells. Thank you for joining me on Cassie's Christmas Corner, and we'll see you.